Hi, I'm Steve Dunn, Director of First Trace Eating, and today we're going to talk about how to do a cold applied silicon termination, which is our trace kit sill. Now, in the kit, you get a set of instructions, a warning label, a compression gland, olive for the compression gland, some earth sleeving, a silicon trouser leg back end, front end, a silicon back end, and a roll of silicon tube, and a uh, nozzle for the silicon. So the tools that we're going to be needing is a Stanley knife, long nose pliers, a, some side cutters, and a terminal screwdriver. So first of all, we want to cut 105 mil of the, the outer sheath and remove that. So we, we slice all the way around, slice down the middle, and remove that. Next with the braid, we push the braid down to flare it, and then we get our terminal screwdriver, and we make a little hole in the braid at the base of the cable. Okay, next we then bend the cable over, and we're going to push the core of the cable through the hole which we've just made. push it through, then with the braid we make it any excess wires just to make nice and neat. And now we have an earth pigtail. Then we want to remove roughly about 80 mil and the way we do that is we, we get our front leg trouser legs, we leave about 10 mil over the end, and where the, the, the cylindrical tube finishes, that's roughly about 80 mil. And that's where we're gonna do the same as the outer sheath with our Stanley knife, cut round. And slice down and remove it. Now we're down to our semiconductive core with then our live and neutral buzz wires in the cable. So we want to get to these buzz wires. So there's two ways we can get to them. The first is, is with our Stanley knife, put it on a 90 degree angle, and we're just gonna gently scrape away the conductive core to then reveal the cable and then we slice down and pull it out. Now the other way to do it is that there's a set of tram lines going down the cable on either side so then we with our Stanley knife slice down those tram lines and you don't need to go too hard on this because you don't want to cut into the actual cable itself. Okay, and then with the Stanley, that should peel away to then reveal the, the buzz wire. And with the center, the center core, we want to then just create small V to keep the buzz wire separate and any excess core which is surrounding the wire we simply pull it off and now we're at a stage where 
we've, we've stripped back the cable. Next step is we want to get our front end boot and our silicon tube, pierce tube, fit the nozzle, cut the end off, and then we're going to fill the actual trouser legs with silicon. Now once you've filled it, if you just give it a bit of a, a twist to make sure that all of the silicon is completely in. And then we get the, make sure your cables are nice and straight. And we simply slide it in. Slide it all the way down until they come out. Okay. Now that we've done that, we then simply get our sleeving, slide it over the earth braid, and that is your front end termination done. Now we're going to go through and tell you how we do our back end termination. So for our back end termination, we're going to need our uh, silicon's end, end boot. We're going to need our tube of silicon, our Stanley knife, and our long note, our, our snips. So we get our cable and we're going to remove roughly round about 25 mil of the outer sheath. We then cut that and pull that away. We're then going to push our braid and we're going to completely cut off this braid. So with your side cutters, we're just going to cut round I'm just going to remove the braid. Now, once we've done that, we just want to, to slightly cut down the, the inner core. So with our side cutters, cut that and then we get our end boot we're going to fill our end boot with silicon okay you just want to make sure that you've all of the air bubbles are out. So just give it a bit of a twist. And then you simply slide the end seal over the cable and that's your end seal done. If you require any further information or you want to uh, have some instructions, then please visit our website.